Exploring Parallel Lives, My Journey with Marsha Mathis and Past Life Regression Hypnosis. Marsha Mathis is a certified consulting hypnotist trained by Dolores Cannon and a member of the National Guild of Hypnotists. She runs a shop in Huntsville, Alabama where she offers past life regression hypnosis services. Past life regression hypnosis is a therapeutic technique that aims to explore and potentially uncover memories or experiences from what is believed to be a person's previous lives. Numerous individuals have asserted that they've gained insights into past lives as alien or interdimensional beings through past life regression hypnosis. Seeking to ascertain whether I, too, might have experienced existence as an alien or interdimensional entity in a previous life, I chose to schedule an appointment with Marsha Mathis. This video elucidates the concept of parallel lives. It includes a photograph of Marsha Mathis's notes from the session, as well as AI-generated art along with descriptions of my past life regression session experiences and a list of lessons that I gleaned from the session. So, you may be wondering, what are parallel lives? People who believe in reincarnation embrace the concept of both past and future lives. Past lives encompass earlier incarnations, while future lives represent subsequent incarnations. Meanwhile, those who subscribe to the idea that time is an illusion and that our perception of the past and future arises from our limited ability to grasp all events concurrently, label all incarnations as parallel lives. This is rooted in the belief that each individual simultaneously lives through all of their incarnations. Furthermore, they posit that connecting with these parallel lives is achievable by accessing our subconscious through techniques such as hypnosis. So here is the image of Marsha Mathis's notes. I'm going to open that up in a new tab. Still kind of small. Uh, you'll probably be able to get a better view of these notes once this blog post comes out on September 16th. So let's move past that for now and jump directly into what you probably clicked on this video for, what I saw during my Parallel Life Connection session. Uh, so this is Blass studying the subject aboard the ATAR. And I know all of that sounds uh, like gobbledygook nonsense, uh, but no worries, I have a text description below. Whether or not that text description will make it sound less like gobbledygook nonsense is really up to you. The space shown in the image above depicts a room within a space station floating in a void created by a hive mind amoeba-like humanoid species known as the Blas. This space station is referred to as the ATAR. The interior of the ATAR consists primarily of large metallic pipe-like cables interconnected to a massive display. Displayed on this screen is the subject, one of the numerous artificial life forms created by the BLAS. The subject is a gooey life form resembling a star, with the capacity to adapt by imitating the forms of other life forms and technologies. The BLAS aim to comprehend how to replicate the subject's abilities for the betterment of their species. The bluish-green humanoid depicted studying the display in the above image is one of the blasts and seemingly represents me in a parallel existence within another dimension. The blasts appear capable of crafting pocket dimensions called void spaces, constructing massive space stations to research artificial life forms, such as the ATAR, and naturally generating and studying numerous artificial life forms in their pursuit of self-improvement, like the subject. Moreover, the BLAST aspire to leverage the insights gleaned from their study of these artificial life forms to not only enhance their own kind, but also to interact with and benefit others in different dimensions that they choose to engage with. And again, here's uh, that image now that you have the additional context from the description. A lot of this stuff is really wild uh, and pretty over my head. Uh, and was very unexpected. Uh, so I did go into the past life regression session with the intent of trying to figure out if in some past life I was some alien or interdimensional being. Uh, but I didn't quite imagine this. And this is only the first part of the session. So here's what else I saw. The evolution of the subject as a celestial body sprouting new subjects into space. This represents the future of the subject, following the BLAS's successful acquisition of the ability to mimic its capabilities. The subject evolves into a celestial body that consistently generates offspring in the shape of gooey cubes. It subsequently propels these cubes into space, dispersing them in various directions. 
So this was also a trip. Essentially, this, what's being shown here, is the future of this, which is what was being shown on the display. Um, again, really wild and unexpected. Um, these images are kind of the best I can do. I'm not super good at drawing. Uh, so these are AI generated images based off of my experience. I listened back to the hypnotherapy recording and then based on what I described while in trance, I used stable diffusion to generate these images. So what lessons did I learn from Blas? Uh, lesson number one, learn to adapt much like the subject by venturing out and gaining more experiences. So one thing that I should try and do is to try and experience more, to do more in life, uh, so I can learn how to better adapt to new and changing situations. Not everything can be learned through study. Sometimes you can only acquire new knowledge through direct experience. Again, this is just doubling down on the first lesson. Uh, there's a big push to go out and experience more and to do more in order to learn how to better adapt and also to just learn better in general from experience. You are not alone in the universe, for the Blasts have created numerous artificial life forms that exist in other void spaces they've crafted beyond our world. So this is more just an acknowledgement of the existence of the blast and the subject. Now I will say, uh, this is kind of a weird point for sure. Uh, for one, uh, I didn't really think about the concept of like reincarnation and past lives and future lives and stuff. I had no idea uh, what was going to happen at the hypnotherapy appointment. So I went in with an open but skeptical mind. Uh, so to take in this lesson that like, hey, you know, now that you've experienced this, uh, that means this is real. I don't know. I, I would say I'm still in that open minded, but still like skeptical peer view. It was a really wild experience. It's a very interesting memory. And I think it's going to inspire a ton of like future stories. I love to write like superhero fiction. Uh, I recently have been um, doing Marvel RPG sessions with my friends where I'm coming up with crazy stories for their characters uh, and crazy adventures for them to go on. And this will definitely inspire some of that. Whether or not I take this as 100% evidence of the existence of other dimensions and these other beings and even other versions of myself, uh, I feel like that's a big jump. Still open-minded. You know, I'm, I'm not going to just completely knock it, but to like totally accept it as truth is a little bit of a pill to swallow, I would say. And then the final line, despite being immensely powerful and sharing a hive mind, the blast can still experience loneliness. Treasure the time you spend with those you care for and endeavor to dedicate more time to them. So I thought this was a particularly interesting lesson from Blass. Uh, during the like hypnotic trance state, I could really tell that Blass was experiencing like terrible loneliness. Even though the Blass share like a hive mind with one another, uh, this particular Blass was inside of a void space studying the subject in complete isolation. Uh, so they've been there for what they described as like a amount of time that I personally couldn't even like comprehend. Uh, so they experience loneliness even with their minds interconnected and Blast wanted to assure me uh, that, you know, spending time with people matters and that it's important to make an effort to spend time with those you care about. Uh, because regardless of what else is important in life, uh, social bonds are extremely important and should be valued highly. Uh, and I love hanging out with my friends. I've been hanging out with my friends and my family quite a bit more often recently than I have in the past. Like this year especially, I've been trying to like hang out with people more often when I can. But of course, the more time you spend with some people means that you have less time to spend with other people and your schedule gets cramped. So I've been working with that, uh, but I will continue to do that. Uh, and I do really appreciate this lesson. Like regardless, of whether or not you believe in other dimensions or parallel lives or reincarnation, I think these lessons are still valuable and are still 
worth sharing and that stories that I or you, if you want to, uh, write about Blas or about the subject uh, should probably reflect these lessons as I feel like these are just like key lessons to the experience. Like if you take anything away from this, even if it's not the existence of otherworldly beings, take away these lessons because I think they do have substance to them. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more information, feel free to listen to the audio recording of the hypnotherapy session. Thank you again. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jeff Black, the one only. Log it out. Peace, guys. Check it out.